Yes, uh, we're going to have going from zero to prod in less than one month. Uh, real quick first, um, this is loads of fun and you can get in on it. We have open mic ignite. Uh, and we've kind of tweeted about that and stuff like that. But in during the first open space slot, if you if you have something that you want to ignite, we're, we're going to do it, uh, even if we told you no when we selected Ignite Talks. So uh, with that, off, off to Satish. Hello, everyone. I'm Satish Kumar, uh, also known as Brent, Chief Architect at Kasasa. <laughs> I use Terraform to build Casasa's enterprise data warehouse infrastructure. Uh, in this talk, I'm going to uh, describe how some Terraform concepts and what we have learned from Terraform through its use. With about a month left to the deadline, we built the second iteration of the EDW uh, by hand on AWS. The idea was to replicate the infrastructure from the dev environment to the UAT and the production environment. We looked for tools in order to um, propagate the changes from the dev environment to the UAT and production environment. One of my prerequisites was we should be able to generate the initial configuration for the tool from the hand-created infrastructure. The first candidate for the tool was AWS uh, CloudFormation. Uh, CloudFormer is a free tool available on the marketplace that would generate CloudFormation templates. I couldn't get it to work in the two-hour time box, so the next candidate for the tool was Terraform. Uh, terraforming is an open source tool that would generate the Terraform configuration. Within half an hour, I had the VPC up and running based on the hand-created infrastructure and the rest is history. We chose Terraform because the combination worked for us. Terraform is an open source orchestration tool to build infrastructure as code. It has a shallow learning curve and robust documentation. And it's under active development. Terraform uses text files called Terraform configurations to des describe the infrastructure into sets of variables. They can either be in human-readable HCL format or JSON for machine-generated configuration. Terraform provides the plan command to generate an execution plan. Lost it. Terraform first performs a refresh and determines what actions are necessary to achieve the uh, desired state in the configuration file. The Terraform apply command is then used to apply the uh, predetermined set of actions generated by the Terraform plan command. Or you can use the apply command to apply the set of changes directly to reach the desired state of the configuration. The description of the plan and the apply commands spoke about state. So Terraform stores status stores the state of the managed infrastructure uh, since the last time Terraform ran in a state file. The state file is what allows Terraform to detect changes in configuration. Uh, this enables Terraform to apply incremental changes to the infrastructure and also to destroy the infrastructure that it manages. There are circumstances when Terraform, uh, the infrastructure gets out of state the sync, uh, sorry, the state gets out of sync with the infrastructure. This can happen, for example, if some agent other than Terraform modifies the infrastructure. So if that change to the infrastructure was desirable, then modify your configuration and then run a plan command to verify that the change to the configuration was correct. If the change was undesirable, run a plan and apply cycle to change the infrastructure to match the configuration. The Terraform state file could also get corrupt, in which case, manually edit the cor corrupt state file and then run the plan command to verify that your state, ma your state matches the uh, actual infrastructure. Um, so given, given the importance of the state file, Terraform actually provides the option to store remote state using the remote command. And uh, we, for example, use uh, S3 for storage with the version buckets. Uh, variables are first class configuration in Terraform. They parameterize Terraform configurations. They're important to abstract environment ex specific parameters and to share secrets, uh, remove secrets from source control. So this example shows Terraform can be used to build very complex infrastructure. The graph at the bottom was created using the Terraform graph command. The, this example, so the previous example showed a fa flat file structure, this, which gets very unwieldy as the infrastructure grows. 
So Terraform provides modules which are uh, self-contained units of Terraform configuration, use modules to organize your code and for code reuse. Some of the lessons we have learned, use Terraform to manage your pets and not your cattle. Use remote state and a module first design. Create an opinionated wrapper that manages the Terraform workflow and also the remote state. Finally, on our bra blog, Charity Majors uh, has a very colorful detail on Terraform. Uh, interestingly, the conclusions that she uh, reached, uh, we reached independently as well. Um, thank you. Thank you.